Hey guys, I'm Rowan and welcome back to Golden Brown Coffee. Today we've got one of the first Pico grinders in the world here to have a play around with. Now I was lucky enough to have Lama Zocco send me out one of these. So we're gonna go through some of the features, have a play and see how it performs. their at-home entry into the grinder market. It costs about $1,000 USD, 1,500 Australian. Now I've been using Lama Zocos my whole life in the cafes. I've been using them at home with the Mika and the Mini. I hadn't used their last grinder, the Swift Mini, which had mixed reviews. This one though, I think they've taken it up a notch. Let's go through some of the features and see how it performs. Make sure to check the timeline below if you wanna to skip to any of the different chapters. So let's take an initial look at the grinder and look at some of the features that it has. So one of the most attention grabbing things that it probably has is this kind of long slim hopper that kind of looks like Alien from the movie. It's actually quite smart because it's completely aligned with the machine. So it has a really small footprint. So you can kind of slide it in away in your kitchen and make sure that it fits nicely. It clicks off super easy like that, just to the side and it's up. So easy for changing your coffee dosing. And it's got this little hole at the bottom, like a little butt. Let your coffee in and out. That's really satisfying to do. And just clicks back in like that. That's it, done. And then the little latch works by itself. Next we have the display and the buttons on the front here. So you have a single shot, timer for a double shot. And then you've got also a single dose button on the end here. I actually love that they have like a little click to them and they have a tactile feel. Now these are reminiscent of some of the buttons on Lama Zocco's commercial machines. I'm kind of over digital touch screens, especially when I'm using like a piece of machinery. I wanna feel it click and engage as I press those buttons. I hear the design principle behind this is that digital screens go out of date really quickly and Lama Zocco is kind of a long lasting thing. So you're gonna have this grinder for a long time, like a Ferrari or something. So you don't want like an ugly digital display in it that's gonna go out of date. Then inside it's got 39 millimeter burrs and you can see that the coffee falls straight from the hopper into the burrs and out. And you're gonna get a lot less retention and there's also anti-static declumping in there. Then you've got this large stepped adjustment here which is really easy to read. And again, it has that nice tactile feel. It feels expensive as it like kind of clicks in, it feels good. I like turning my grinder cause it feels really nice. Then it's got this adjustable porta filter here that moves up and down so that it can hold any porta filter, naked, double spouted, whatever. It fits in, lock it in and you're good to go. Then if you're dosing into one of these, you can just pull that out and then the new one fits in. Magnets, everyone loves magnets. And it's been designed to have this slot at the bottom so an Akaya Luna just slips right in. So you can weigh your coffee as you grind right there. And it's also movable so that if you wanna measure your shots after you're done, you can just take it out, move it over to the coffee machine, easy. And one thing I'm thinking, I know this has Bluetooth. It'd be awesome if this could connect so that it grinds by weight. I don't know if that's possible, but it'd be cool. I'd like that. And that's pretty much an overview of the machine. So let's dive into some of the nitty gritty. So let's talk about the burrs. This grinder has 39 millimeter conical burrs inside it and it grinds super fast and super quiet. Now with my smart grinder by Breville or like the Melconi X54, they're looking more at like the 14 to 17 second range for that. So it does this double shot, 21 grams in under 10 seconds. And listen to how quiet that is. That's me talking over the grinder. That is the best sounding grinder that I think I've used for home. So one thing that I really like about a conical burr grinder is it's gonna hold its grind size a lot better than a flat burr. What I mean by that is you don't need to adjust and dial in every single day when you're using the same coffee bean. It's gonna be relatively close to what it was already. So it's not quite set and forget, but it's a lot closer. And honestly, when I'm at home and I'm using the same coffee beans, I don't have time to be constantly readjusting and having my variables change so much. I just want my grinder to be able to grind at the start of the day, make my coffee and move on. Then we move down here where we have the large stepped adjustments. Now, now this isn't stepless, so you don't have that 100% control for all the coffee nerds out there, but it's got so many stepped adjustments in there that are so precise. I've always been able to find the grind size that I want. And if you want your grinding experience to be easier, stepped is probably easier than stepless. Stepless just gives you that full control, but then you've got to dial it in so much and really want to nerd out on those kind of features. All right, now let's look at the most important part, the grinding and dosing. You can either just dose using your bag and fill up the hopper like this. You've got a single shot measurement and a double shot on the front. Or you can single dose if you want to. So remember this, just close off the latch, spin it, and that's how easy it is to remove so you can change your coffee. Or you can single dose if you want. Then I like to have the chute closed, single dose in there, close it off. So let's press the single dose button, then I'll open up the hatch. We've put in 21 grams of coffee, so let's see how close we get to that 21 grams with the granite grind retention. 
I mean, 20.9, that's pretty good. And from my kind of experience working with this machine, it kind of has been in that 0.2 range of grams. So it's not zero retention, but with the anti-static in there and that flat drop through the conical burr, it's really, really low retention and pretty good for single dosing. Okay, so now we're going to run another double shot but into the basket this time. So we can see what those grinds look like and we can see how evenly it kind of grinds into the basket. So you can see that it grinds directly into the middle, so you're not getting as much of that coffee kind of falling out the sides, and you're getting that direct drop. So there's less mess, no clumping, and look how fluffy those grinds are. There's no clumping, it's directly in the middle, there's barely any kind of spray on the sides with that anti-static. That looks amazing and is super quick. That's the type of quality that you expect from Lama Zocco. Now, one thing that I hate is cleaning a grinder. So when it's made easier, I really like that. And this one, all you have to do is screw off and then it just falls out. Look at that. And then you can just clean it up. So easy to clean, yeah. And doing this will help maintain a healthy grinder. All clean and then pop it back in. That makes it so much easier for me. Chuck some beans in and you're ready to go again. Now this grinder isn't cheap, but I think you pay for what you get. For me, the fact that it grinds a double shot in under 10 seconds and is so damn quiet is such a selling point. And also the quality of the grind is insanely high. I think it's a great all-rounder home grinder because you can put a whole bag of beans in there if you want. You can single dose and it's got really low retention. The quality is really high. And you've also got the scale if you want to weigh it out. If you're wanting a zero retention stepless grinder and kind of taking it to that really nerdy level, this maybe isn't the grinder for you. But if you kind of dabble in between both of those worlds of nerdy out but also wanting convenience then I think this grinder is awesome. I love the design it looks great it's kind of bringing that commercial look to a more home design kind of look and towing that line really well looks great next to my Micra. I've had a lot of fun using it and this will now become my go-to home grinder but I do want to know what you think your initial thoughts also let me know if you have any questions below I'll try to answer as many as possible. Thank you for tuning in make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and of course it's only fitting if you hit the bell. Coffee yo! I always hate this part. It's so awkward. I don't even know what videos are there. The people upstairs feel like they're killing a cow. I don't know what's happening. There's just stuff being dragged everywhere. Anyway, maybe I'll just go have a word to them asking a bit quieter.